just in this little pool. It's a little sea turtle. They come up here at high tide. I also just made this spear that I'm gonna be trying to spear some fish with out here in these mangroves. Flatty, I've got one shot at him. <laughs> Look at the size of these things. There we go. We're just gonna chuck the flatty on. Big cod. We're gonna set up the hammock now. Go to bed. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So we're currently on the east coast of Australia and I've just hiked deep into this mangrove ecosystem. And this is where I'm gonna be staying for the next 24 hours. We're gonna have to catch our own food out here, sleep out here in the mangroves itself. And one thing that I'm pretty stoked about actually, but have to be very careful is there was a three meter crocodile spotted at the start of this estuary. There's a good chance that it'd be up in this creek right now. So we're across from Fraser Island at the moment. Crocs down here, this far south, is incredibly rare. Where I film all my videos is two hours down south and there is no crocs down there. Big sea turtle right there. Just in this little pool, so far up into the mangroves is a little sea turtle. They come up here at high tide, and then as the water goes down, they can't get fully back out. So they're stuck in these little pools for a couple more hours until the tide comes back up again. Look at that. Big sea turtle all the way up here. That's what the croc would be feeding on. If it's up in this creek, there are so many turtles up here. Is he gonna come up again? Yeah, he's gonna come up once more. Oh, hey big fella, you're amazing. I reckon I'm gonna go swimming with some turtles in here later on. This is actually the same set of mangroves that I rescued a big sea turtle in ages ago. I'll show you a clip. So I was just walking through these mangroves looking for mud crabs and I found a sea turtle way up into the mangroves. Oh, I think it's dead. Oh no, he's alive. Yes! And it was a really hot day, I didn't want him to get hurt or anything. So I called up fisheries, got him on the phone to make sure it was okay for me to lift it to the water because these are protected animals. And yeah, we got it back in and it kicked off. Okay, so he's up. Yeah, he's responding, he's trying to paddle in the air. Yeah. Yeah, so this pool right here is really deep. Oh, here he goes. Oh yeah, he's loving that. Literally the best thing to see because there's no way it would have survived till the next high tide. Oh, I can actually see her. I also just made this spear out of a stick I found on the floor that I'm gonna be trying to spear some fish with out here in these mangroves. I'm keen to see what I can find. Every time I go out into the wild, especially a system like this, I always find cool things, but yeah, I reckon that's good. Definitely good enough to spear a fish. But yeah, normally you wouldn't have to be crockwise in a place like this. You wouldn't even have to think about it. But I ran into a couple blokes who actually saw the croc sitting up on a bank just at the start of this river system. So maybe I won't be snorkeling with any turtles in this creek later on. The amazing thing about an ecosystem like this is it's filled with life. As the tide comes up, all new species of fish, turtles, sometimes even dugons, sharks come up into these creek systems and they come up into these these creek systems hunting and then as the tide goes out they normally go out with it but certain species do get trapped up here so yeah I don't really have anything planned it's a very harsh environment very hard to survive here you're getting hammered by mozzies and sand flies all day it's super easy to cut your feet on all these mangrove roots which is why I've bought my trusty steel caps with me first things first we're gonna hunt around the mangroves maybe see if we can get a mud crab first up in the morning and then go for a spear and see if we can catch ourselves some dinner how good mangrove survival Little mud crab. There we go. Hey mate. It is a male mud crab. It is still a bit too small. I reckon if I came back in like six months time, 
he might be big enough, but we're gonna let him go. But it just proves if you were in a survival situation, you could eat this, but all right, mate. See ya. Bye-bye. It's currently low tide up in the mangroves at the moment and there's not too much going on. As that tide starts to come up further on in the day, that's when all the big fish will pull up here and that's when I'm gonna come up here and go hunting. But what I thought I'd do is I'd head out to the mouth of this creek system where that croc was spotted because I reckon there'd be more fish sitting out there. And I reckon I got a better chance of getting one with the spear. It would be cool to get a big flathead. That would actually be awesome. Let's give it a go, mate. At the end of these little streams is normally a really good place for fish. I can kind of see the bottom as well, so I don't think I have to worry about the crocodile. It's actually been reported 11 times in the past week. Flatty, right there. Just out from those mangrove roots. It's definitely legal as well. Oh, missed it. Definitely missed it. That's all right. We'll keep going. Hey mate, you are okay? Whoa, look at the size of these things. That is so cool. I'm walking through the mangroves and you can see how big they are. This one in here is massive. That is so cool. These guys are everywhere here in Australia. So cool to see them in an environment like this though. See you skippies. There should be big muddies sitting around here. Is that one there actually? <gasps> Flatty! Flatty just down there. Big Flatty. All right, he's staying still. I'm gonna go get my camera quickly. I don't know if you can see that, but he's sitting right there. Sneaking up on this big flatty right here. See him tucked up away there? I've got one shot at him. Got him, yep. There we go. All right, that is a big flatty. We're gonna quickly kill him. We don't want this fish to suffer. I didn't get him through the head. Yes, we got dinner, all right, mate. All right, mate, it was a bit of a dodgy shot, but at least we got dinner for tonight. It's so hard practicing throwing primitive spears because every one that you make is different, different weights and everything, but I'm happy that we hit and we missed an estuary cod before. But yeah, we're gonna make a fire somewhere out of the mangroves because we're not allowed to make one in here and cook him up. There we go. Yep. Yes. So it's been a pretty successful mission so far. We've got food. We've made a little fire just out of the mangroves in a place I can cook up this fish. Once we cook it up, I'm gonna head back into the mangroves, stay there for the afternoon and into the night. I've got a torch as well. I might even go for a hunt around, see what I can see after dark. All right, and we're just gonna chuck the flatty on, just upside down, 
That way and we'll build the fire on top of it. So we've got this big flatty and I'm so stoked with that. I'm grateful that we can actually eat in this video. But since we got it first up in the morning, I'm gonna try to get something else. Maybe like a big mud crab or a big sand crab. Maybe even a squid later tonight when I go for a night walk. I brought a torch with me. So we're gonna be walking around tonight looking for that crocodile and maybe some other things that are hiding around the mangroves. But yeah, I think this flatty is ready. We're gonna take it off and eat it. All that is good to eat. So good. Couldn't have cooked it any better. It's cool coming out to an environment like this with only a knife and only a few things in my backpack and knowing that if I was out here just for one day like today, I could survive. You'd only need a meal like that every day or two if you did want to live out here so don't think i'm going to be moving out to the mangroves anytime soon though but still pretty cool all right we got to feed into us let's head back into the mangroves and see what else we can find Tides up. We're just hunting around now in the shallows. I don't want to go too close to over there knowing that there's a croc in this creek. A fish's tail? That's a fish's tail. What is that? What is that? <coughs> yep. We got him. Big cod. Yes, we got another fish. We'll quickly kill him. After getting that flathead this morning, I was pretty confident that we could get something else. The tide's fully pushed out right now, but as it was pushing out, I spotted this little fella sitting in the mangroves. He was actually hunting, and that's what these fish are doing on the outgoing tide. So yeah, I got the primitive spear out, got a good shot on him, and that right there is a little cod, and that right there is gonna be our dinner. Now, the legal limit for these guys is 38 centimeters, and this guy is 41, so a couple centimeters over. I always think it's funny that I never know what I'm getting myself into when I come out here. I guess I should have known I was going to be waist deep in mud walking around creeks with crocodiles in it. Wouldn't expect anything less from me. I might make a fire tonight and cook him up. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm absolutely covered in mud. I'm actually really wrecked. I've had such a big day, done so much walking, hunting around the mangroves. It's such an unforgiving environment, but I love it. This might be one of those nights where I don't end up sleeping again, and I'm not ready for that just yet. Luckily enough, I have a couple hours to mentally prepare myself for that. I might need to find a place closer to the shoreline where there's a bit of wind because these sand flies and mosquitoes are actually killing me. But hey, at least I'm clean. So the sun's just setting at the moment. Beautiful sunset to end an awesome adventure, but the adventure's not over yet. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna wait for it to get dark, 
head out to the mouth of this mangrove ecosystem, get the torch out and look around, see what animals we can find after dark. So many more species are active after dark, so I'm keen to see what we can find. Then we're gonna go set the hammock up in the mangroves and sleep in there. Just getting bitten by so many sand flies, but yeah, let's get the torch out, see what we can find. sand crabs out here. These crabs are mating. I reckon that big blue swim is legal, but you know what? I'm gonna let you be, mate. <laughs> Look at this. Shovel-nosed ray. Oh, you're beautiful, mate. So this is a species of ray actually, that cruises these coastal tidal zones, sucking up little crustaceans and fish with their mouth. We're not gonna keep them out of water too long, but how cool is that? So cool to get them on the night walk right here. But yeah, don't wanna stress out this animal, so we're gonna get him back in the water. Yes, that is awesome. See you, mate. All right, see you later, mate. You're okay. Look at that. Is that not just the coolest thing ever? We got a shovel nose shark. That is awesome. See you later, dude. Woo! We got one. I was wanting to catch one of them all day, but I couldn't find any. And to come out on this night walk and find one is so cool. Swam right over to me. All right, that's it for today. We're gonna set up the hammock now, go to bed. I'm absolutely knackered. And yeah, go on a bit more of an adventure tomorrow morning and then head home. So, so far being in this spot, the mosquitoes and midges aren't too bad. So hopefully they don't find me tonight. Sleeping in the mangroves. Tomorrow we would have survived 24 hours out here. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. We'll go on another little adventure before I end the video. My feet are muddy. That's why they're not fully in yet, but I'll clean them off and go to sleep. It's the second day. There's actually a massive storm coming in from over that way at the moment. So we're gonna pack up and get out of here. I got absolutely hammered by sand flies last night. Not a great sleep at all. I did get to sleep though. But yeah, pretty interesting sleeping out here in the mangroves. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all the support. 24 hours in the mangrove survival challenge done. I'll be posting new videos every Sunday here in Australia. So if you wanna be a part of this, like this video, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I'm gonna be going on a lot more cool adventures this year. So thank you very much everyone. I'll see you guys next week.